Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to very quickly show you one of our better selling um, address signs that we sell on Nextdoor. And if you haven't checked out Nextdoor, you need to. It's a great app. Um, you can sell a lot of metal signs through Nextdoor. So let's just do this um, very quickly. I'm going to start out the sign with just a bar. And instead of drawing the bar, I'm actually going to, uh, I'm just going to set my color here to black. I'll click on the rectangle too. I'm just going to click anywhere here on the screen. I want the width to be 24 inches. This is the size that I sell it in. And I'm going to set the height to 1 inch. That's going to give me this black bar. Next, I'm going to type out a number. And let's just type out uh, 2533 for our number. We'll make this bigger. And let's just change the font to something. I like the Century Gothic Bold. And we're just going to scoot this down so that it overlaps my bar here on the bottom. Now, underneath this, in all caps, I'm going to put the street name. And let's just make up a street name. How about uh, Golden Willow Drive? I'm going to make that a little bigger. If you hold down your shift key while you're resizing, it'll keep your aspect ratio. And I'm just going to make sure that that kind of overlaps there as well. All right, we basically have the sign here. What I want to do as well is, is I usually sell standoffs with these. Um, so I'm just going to come here. I'm going to use my, uh, my ellipse tool. Click anywhere here on the screen. And I'm going to set this to 0.25 inches. And that's going to give me this little dot. I'm going to change this dot to a color so that I can see it once I drag it over my sign. I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to click and drag. And I'll click and drag to make a copy of it. And just put one over here on the right-hand side. Now you see we have all the components here of our um, of our sign. The first thing I need to do is I need to convert uh, these text layers here to objects uh, because I can't unite this thing. I can't put it all together. Um, so I'm just going to hit Control Shift O, and that'll convert this text to an object. I'll do the same thing, Control Shift O on the bottom text. All right. Now I'm going to select the text the bar and the bottom text and I'm going to come over here to Pathfinder and I'm going to click Unite. Unite will now make this one solid piece. See there? It's now one solid piece and that will be easy to cut in Fusion 360. The only thing I have to do now is I have to cut these little circles out for our standoffs into this piece. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to select everything the address plus the, those two dots there and I'm just going to click minus front and what minus front does is it's going to cut those front layers those dots it's going to cut those out of my back layer so you see if I drag this off now I now have a hollow space where those dots were and that is it since we've already united this thing um, we should be good to go just file Save as. We'll save this as an SVG. And it's just going to be test address. And hit save. And now you're ready to import into Fusion 360. Here in Fusion 360, I'm just going to go to insert SVG. I'm going to navigate back to that file that I just created which is this test address. Double click. I'm going to click on the plane and you'll see that there is our address. Alright, we can move this up if we want to. Move it over a little bit so we can see it. I'll go ahead and hit finish sketch. We now have our address sign. I'm going to click on the face of this address sign to highlight it. Hit E to extrude. 
and I'm going to give it a value of 1.6 and hit enter. Now we have a three-dimensional object with some depth to it. Okay. Next step, I'm going to go to the manufacture screen, setup, new setup. I'm going to move my origin to the lower left-hand corner by clicking it and then clicking on the lower left-hand corner, and that will move it. I'll hit OK. And now all we have to do is create our cutting profile. I'll go to Cutting, 2D Profile. I'm going to select my Razor Weld 45. Everything here is preset for me. On the second tab, it's asking me to select the contour. Just click anywhere in the gray area. Don't click the sides, because that's just going to complicate your life. Just click right in the gray area, and that will select your entire sign. I usually skip this middle, this middle tab, go on to the next one. I am going to turn on smoothing because I have some curves here. And then on the last tab, I usually turn off my lead in and just hit OK. Now we just wait for this little timer over here to finish. And once it's finished, we'll be able to export this um, into our post processor, turn this into G code, uh, and send it, or basically open it up in Fire Control. All right, this is ready to go. We're going to go to Actions, Post Process, and I'm just going to name this Test Address. We'll hit Post, and we'll get a notification down here that our G code was created. Now all we have to do is load that G code into Fire Control, and we can cut this sign. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I hope this helps. If it does, please subscribe. We're really close to 1,000 subscribers, and it'd be great to have you. Thanks a lot. Take care.